Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can solve HDR video issue. When you're working in Adobe Premiere Pro, suppose you are using a video from iPhone. You have shoot that video in HDR format. So when you are editing that video, when you are importing that video in Adobe Premiere Pro, you will have a video just like this one. So if I just show you, you can see the video is blown out, right? The highlights is overexposed. If I show you the source clip, it is looking great when i am opening it in a player you can see it is not blown out the highlights didn't clipped but when i am working in adobe premiere pro it is showing that highlights it's clipped so what is the issue how you can solve that right so when you are working in adobe premiere pro by default you are working on a timeline that is in rack 709 if i show you if i go to sequence then if i show the sequence setting then you can see the work color space is rack 709 but if you want to work in hdr timeline then you need to make that timeline in hdr format it is not practical because most of the time when you are delivering a video on social media or different platform it doesn't support hdr format that is the reason we usually use rack 709 working color space in adobe premiere pro right so there are two different way to solve the issue the first one is you can change the color format of your video to rack 709 i mean you can convert the hdr footage to rack 709 or you can change it to rack 2100 hlz right if you select that and then if you press ok then it will show a pop-up message which will says delete all previews for this sequence changes to preview file format to the frame size require all preview files to be deleted if you click ok then you see the color have been corrected right but now there is a problem if you want to import any footage that is not in hlz format or that is not in hdr format it will not look good in hdr timeline that is the reason usually we change the clip to match the timeline so that we can work on a rec 709 timeline right so let's undo it Control z i want to change the color space for this clip to change it in adobe premiere pro what you can do you have to go to project panel then you have to select the clip that you want to edit right so suppose here i have imported the clip in the timeline now i want to populate the clip on project panel if i right click here then if i select reveal in project then it will select the file in the project panel if i select another clip and then i can if i click and then click reveal in project you can see that has selected the clip right now you have to right click here then you have to go to modify and from here you have to click on interpret footage right click here and from this section you can change the color space of your video clip from hlg or hdr to rack 709 so go to at the bottom section of this window from here click color space override and from here select rack 709 this one right click here then press ok and then you'll see the color problem has been gone that is how you can convert any hlg or hdr clip in adobe premiere pro so that it matches with the existing timeline and the color looks great so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye